Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. <laughs> in this video, we'll discuss a simple but significant change introduced in Oracle Database 18C. The sleep procedure was added to the DBMS session package and deprecated from the DBMS lock package. By default, users don't have execute permission on the DBMS lock package. If we try to access it, we get an identifier must be declared error. Granting execute on the DBMS lock package grants access to other functionality, which can be problematic. From 18C onward, we can use the sleep procedure in the DBMS session package instead. The DBMS session package is available to all sessions with no additional grants. The documentation no longer mentions the sleep procedure in the DBMS lock package but it's still there for backwards compatibility. So what does the sleep procedure do? It suspends the session for the specified number of seconds. The seconds parameter can accept any valid number, including fractions down to hundredths of a second. This can be useful to pause between retries of a failed operation or when polling another service. Here's another simple example. We display the current time, Pause for one second using the sleep procedure. Display the time again. Pause for half a second. Then display the time again. As expected, we see the start time. The next time is approximately one second later. The final time is approximately half a second later. For most situations, you should switch from using DBMS lock sleep to DBMS session sleep. But there's one caveat to this. The DBMS session version of the sleep procedure has an upper limit of 3600 seconds. That's one hour. If we try to go beyond that, we get an invalid time limit error. If you have any code that pauses for more than an hour, you'll need to continue using the DBMS lock version of the sleep procedure. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.